All right, welcome back to Building Dad Bod 2.0. It is bench press day, but my main focus uh, while I'm in a cut is building up these triceps. We're starting with some McGill dips. Uh, so 120 pounds strapped around my waist, sets at two. Uh, probably do next week at 120 pounds as well. Um, as you can see um, here, they're smooth, but they're on the verge of getting slow, um, which is what we don't want. We want to be fast. So now we take the weight off after six sets. So that's my first set, my last set. Now I'll show you how fast it is once you go back to body weight. Boom. One more. There we go. Second rep was insanely fast. We're going to do one more set here. So three. I did three sets total body weight. I uh, want to leave up with the nervous system remembering the speed. And I went on to bench press, so just working my way up to a couple sets of singles at 254 pounds. Uh, not a ton of weight, but um, feeling heavy in the cut. Um, I lost two and a half pounds in my first week of the cut, and then also just um, did the dips before this as well. So took a little bit out of my triceps. So we'll see what the cut looks like next week. I definitely don't want to lose pounds again next week. First week, usually you lose more. Um, so hopefully next week I'm down to around two, uh, two pounds per week from that point on. Um, so now we are into Buffalo Bar Bench Press. So what we're doing here is getting into a deficit, um, really hammering that uh, strength off the chest. Um, 204 pounds, so not going insanely heavy. I'm trying to work some hypertrophy here um so i want to definitely stay above five reps so first set here um, i hit seven um, i'll show you my first set and my last set my last set uh again um oh. hit i think i hit six reps but weight was moving good um definitely the the tricep fatigue kicking in on the last uh, couple reps there so here we go with the second set if you ever had the chance to uh, try benching with a buffalo bar, give it a try. That uh, first bit off your chest will be insanely weak at the start if you're not used to benching uh, in a deficit. Uh, but the cool thing is it comes uh, comes pretty fast. Uh, so I attribute a lot of why my, uh, my bench press when I'm shooting up for the 300 pound bench press, it moves well off my chest because I did a lot of buffalo bar bench press um, Lead up to my strength phase there. So I'm going to try to push it up, see what I can get the buffalo bar bench press up to um, while I'm cutting and then um, get the next one into a uh, surplus again. Um, so after the three sets buffalo bar bench press, uh, finished off the workout with some banded pull aparts and superset that with some uh, cable flies for the upper chest. So just a good chance when I'm doing the banded pull-ups, you can see, um, have a look at how the upper back is looking, how the shoulders are looking while I'm cutting here. You can see, uh, start to get definition really fast in the shoulders and the upper back. Shoulders, upper back, triceps um, are all coming along good. You can see down, down at the bottom there, still got to lose some fat around the waist. The love handles are, are showing pretty good there. Um, we'll see how the stomach and the chest uh, look in another few weeks here. Um, I don't recommend anybody ever gets up to 30% body fat. I did that now. I'm always gonna have loose skin, which is not ideal if you're super worried about aesthetics. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.